Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now I present your host, LJP Tech. Okay, so if we open. Whoa, look at that! That is so cool! <laughs> so this is Evo X from a company called Innobot, one of the most anticipated, most excited robot of 2023. And I'm sure many of you must have heard about this robot by now because it's currently on a crowdfunding campaign. It already smashed the target and the funding is going up and up as we speak. So this is basically a robot assistant that could actually help look after your elders, your child, and it's also could do the mapping by using the VSLAM and um, so on. So there's so many things you could explore with this robot. So enough said, let's explore what this can do. So let's bring out the crystal ball, shall we? <laughs> wow, that's a very good weight. So you can feel the quality behind it. Uh, so if we were to pull out the sticker here, um, this is the privacy button. So if you're concerned about your privacy, you press this one volume up and down for the speaker, pause or play, resume play. I believe if you tap here, that will trigger the Alexa. These are the four microphones, okay? Uh, so if you were to press that, that's really nice. Uh, this is the gimbal here, um, so we could balance it off. And also the great M8 megapixel camera. And I don't know whether you can see that here. This is the uh, fall prevention sensor there. On the back end side, we actually have two infrared receiver modules. This is where you put in your um, memory card air outlet. This is a really good quality uh, Harman speaker actually. And this is the touch sensor. And lastly, this is the power on and off. And if you're not happy with the um, settings, you could always reset it and a really good quality wheels as well. If we were to take out the rest of the package, I'm sure this will be the power supply plug, which is the UK version. Thank you very much, very considerate. And this will be Evo X charging dock. And we all know that this is a unique symbol telling Evo X this, where the um, charging dock is. So Evo X will follow through this symbol and will land here. So this will basically be meeting these two here to wireless charge Evo X. And on the bottom side of it, we can see that you plug in your power supply here, and then you can take out this sticker so that there will be more firm attachment to the floor. So we got a really nice LED feature on the charging dock. And um, before we actually um, connected to the charging dock. I forgot to mention there's this um, obstacle prevention sensor here and also additional speaker at the front as well. So this is going to be really cool with sound quality, but let's place Evo X here. Ah, the camera's moving. That's quite cool. I think that was just a test. And then we got finally Evo X light coming out with two eyes on it. Okay, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so we got rather colorful Evo X light coming out. Uh, so now we're looking at the app. We need to add Evo X to the app, connect it. So please make sure the robot light is flashing. It is indeed. Press next and allow. Yep, that's pretty cool. So save, yes, continue. And then we are all set up with the Wi-Fi. So let's press next. So basically you need to show this uh, QR code to uh, Evo X. Networking success. Okay. That's all connected. Well done. So we got a celebration to confirm. Nice. So we've got to save that. And now we could set up the Amazon Alexa on it. So this is the main page of Evo X. You can see the model number is 99C for mine. Um, the microphone and also the uh, speaker is disabled, but the camera and the video is on. That's why you can see the camera view here. Uh, we got the Evo albums 
and share management as well. Share management page, you can click on that and then you can also add local friends. So if you were to click on this, uh, that's not on the list at the moment because you have to press the add. So you can add um, app friends and also local members as well. So to show you how you can add your members onto this system, um, I actually took my selfie as an avatar and a username of LJP Tech but it's not enrolled at the moment. So if I were to click on that, it will basically ask you to agree on two things in the bottom and show you how uh, you can actually register yourself. So if we begin registration, you can actually see uh, my face detected by the uh, Evo X uh, 8 megapixel camera. So that's how you actually register yourself, okay? So if we were to go to the um, Alexa page, um, yes, so you can see Evo X is responding to my Alexa command um, and these are some of the tricks and uh, the skills that you can learn related to Evo X. Next page is for customizing Evo X color. So currently it's actually on the dream, uh, dreamy starry sky. Uh, you can change it to spring and different colors as well. If you were to click on it, these are the different tones of color that you can choose. So if I were to click on double color uh, number three and then apply, you can see that Evo X now changed to green. But if we were to change it to this one, it's now back to that purplish sort of color. Uh, now this is a bit more reddish. Let's do for uh, the green. So this is how you can change the color of Evo uh, X. You can also adjust the brightness of it as well by using this. Also the waist light uh, rhythm as well, that could also change into uh, three different kind, I believe, no four. And then you can change it to an ambient light as well. You can rotate the actual visual of Evo X and adjust the volume by scrolling up and down on this side as well. And then we've got the quiet mode on, touch areas, uh, WLAN, uh, Bluetooth, YLAN, <laughs> sorry, and then sound source location and about the Evo X. So if we were to go to the main page and click on the actual camera view, you will get this um, full screen with all the controllers. So just to sum it up to you, this is actually auto tracking button. This is to go back to the charging uh, dock. This is to come out of the charging dock position of the camera. That's very cool. And this one is to go back to the original position. So on the control panel, top right hand side corner, if you click on the adjustment button on the media side, you can readjust the uh, chat volume and also the resolution as well to uh, UHD, FHD, HD, SD and auto. The shooting mode, you can actually choose to do auto, daylight and night. Now the night vision is very interesting. So if you click on that, you can actually see the main screen turning into black and white, which means the night vision is on. Actually on the eight megapixel gimbal unit, you can see these uh, red lights on. So if we were to put that back into the normal um, auto or daylight settings, we got the color back on, okay? With the click sound from the gimbal. Now, next one is the watermark and distortion correction and the flicker adjustment as well. If we go to the remote control, you can actually adjust the uh, moving speed. Now, uh, I actually turned off the anti-collision and also the anti-drop assistance, but if I were to turn this on, um, this will actually protect Evo X more, okay? Um, now, the steering panel, you can actually choose either double or left and right and the auxiliary setting as well, you can change the view and so on. So let's make Evo X come out of the charging dock by going to the app and pressing this button here. So you can see that Evo X just came out and has stopped. And the opposite, so if we were to press uh, the app for Evo X to go back to the charging dock, you can see now Evo X will be rotating around, trying to find that symbol over there and it has almost found it. And now it's found the symbol. What it's gonna do is gonna hit back and rotate slowly. And then it's gonna speed up and then hit back to the charging dock. So there you go. It has firmly landed on the charging dock. That was a very quick 
Minerva result indeed. Okay, so as you can see from my smartphone view that um, I'm gonna turn on the pose recognition on and also I'm gonna deliberately fall down to see whether Evo X can detect my fall so that it could alert me technically if I'm gonna be away, okay? So if I were to fall down, Yep, so you can see that Evo X is actually alerting me on my smartphone. So all I need to do is answer that. And then basically I will be connected on my smartphone to be able to see what's going on on Evo X point of view. So that's brilliant. It just proves that it works. Facing it towards to the mic. And wow, so I could actually hear the alert saying that Evo X99C has detected someone is crying. Please connect to your, um, let's actually scroll that up again. Please connect it to your robot to check as soon as possible. So I got alert on my smartwatch. So that actually popped up on my smartphone as well. So if I were to click on that, then basically you can see from the top of the log of all the records of um, the event that happens from my smartphone app for Evo X. So that's really clever indeed. So what I'm gonna do is actually walk out of this room and then quietly um, turn on the intrusion detection on. And then I'm gonna walk into the room, okay? Let's see if Evo X will be able to detect my movement. And um, yes, it can, and it says human. Okay, so I actually felt the buzz on my smartwatch, and as you can see, that's my smartwatch is alerting me that there has been a human detected, okay? So let's actually scroll up again, saying that Evo X99C has detected someone staying in the restricted area, okay? Same for my smartwatch. On my smartphone, it also shows the alert. So if I were to click on that, you can see another six notification on the robots. It will actually let you know again with what's going on uh, from the alert happening from Evo X. Okay, so at the moment, um, we haven't turned on the VSLAM technology, but let's actually try that on. So now you can see Evo X is now uh, departed from the charging dock. So it's trying to come near to the um, rather shallow barrier that I deliberately built for the review purpose. So it's actually moving forward and backwards. Uh, so that's really doing well. So this is so-called the VSLAM technology, uh, which I believe V stands for visual. And any SLAM technology can be very vital for a um, profession like myself who draws um, floor plans, okay? So I'm a great fan of any SLAM technology. And for the purpose of uh, Evo X is that uh, Evo X will be able to map out exactly the room shape so that when it actually departs and moves around, it will avoid any obstacles and knows exactly where to move. So you can see that's really clever, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. It doesn't really bump into any of the things. It goes backwards and recognize all the risks involved. And then it goes forward and stop. So that's really clever indeed, this VSLAM technology. So I hope this actually demonstrates to you how it works. So you can actually have so much fun with Evo X. As you can see on the uh, left hand side, you can move forward and backwards with Evo X. And then um, on the right hand side, on the bottom, you can actually rotate uh, Evo X around as well. And there are a few simple uh, gestures that you could actually command as well. If you press this, it will rotate around. Again, just um, another sort of, I think that's about 30, 40 degrees. And you can also make Evo X sort of sit down like that, if you press that button there. And also on the um, one in the middle, on the top bottom, you can suddenly make it move it front. That's quite cool and so on. So uh, remote control is so much fun with Evo X because it's designed to move around very quickly 
in a relatively large space. So that's pretty cool. So as you can see, Ebo X is pretty much um, following me around. So I'm actually rotating. And this is probably one of my favorite um, function of Ebo X actually. So if I actually move backwards, Ebo X is automatically detecting my movement. And um, as I rotate around, you know, actually it follows my direction as well. If I were to move nearer to it, it will back off. At the same time, if I were to um, move away from it, Evo X will automatically detect my face and then trying to come near me as well. So if you imagine that you're actually walking around in your house and play music from Evo X, it will actually do this for you. So it's like a moving speaker following you. That's really cool. So I look forward to use this function indeed. So one of the most incredible thing about Evo X is that it balanced by itself. So it's virtually impossible to make Evo X fall. So if I were to show you as an example, is that if I put it sideways, it will automatically come back on and balance itself, okay? So if you're trying to push it away, it will fight you back. And if you're trying to drag in front, you can actually feel the force that um, Evo X is actually fighting against it. So that's really cool. Look at that. So it's balancing and it's stabilizing. So I just love the way how it's designed and it's a really good quality. I just love this high tech gimbal just moving around as well all the time. Look at that. That is so cool trying to track me down because it's actually on the auto detection mode. Now, because we've got this really good quality Harman speaker at the front and back, the music quality is really good as well. So if we were to play an example, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So you could also see the visual effect as well. So not only uh, this is a Bluetooth speaker that follows you like a robotic butler, but also a visual effect speaker as well. It's really cool. So um, if I were to move my mic closer, that's the quality. Cool, isn't it? So let's try the good old Alexa function on it, shall we? So, oh, look at that. It turns to blue color. So Alexa, what's the weather like? Right now in London, it's 10 degrees Celsius with partly cloudy skies. Nice. The forecast has lots of clouds with showers with a low of five degrees. So you can actually have Alexa function. You can interact with it. It can play music. It could actually give you all the information, latest news. So this is pretty much becoming your robot butler. This is so cool. So this is an example of hasty quality of video recording based on the eight megapixel camera that is attached to Evo X and also four microphones. And if I were to zoom right out, you can see more sharpness from me and also the overall background as well. But if I were to zoom right in, you can see my face and overall my body shape gets distorted because of the shape of the lens is actually rounded. And following that, here are the, some of the examples of the photos that I have taken as well. So please enjoy. So I thoroughly enjoy reviewing Evo X and there's so many different functions that I'm not sure whether I cover all of it, but you can tell by now that Overall, Evo X is designed to be your personal assistant robot. This will be able to automatically track you, follow you, and also play you music if you want. And you can get uh, valuable information source using Amazon Alexa. You can also have conference call with your close family members and friends. And if you're away from Evo X, let's say you're in the office or outside world, if your family members fall down or your child cries or if there's an intruder, Evo X will alert you and so on. And there sh are surely more updates to come along as well. And I actually thought when I was a child watching all these 
uh, Japanese manga. I thought never in my lifetime this sort of technology is going to happen. But here we have it, folks. We're already there. And also, I remember Samsung actually presented a few years ago of uh, this sort of um, small home robot called Bolly. Um, I was really excited about this Bolly and really wanted to buy one and present it to you guys as a review. But I believe Samsung has failed to uh, produce, mass produce this Bolly. At the same time, Innobot has successfully produced this Evo X. So it shows the strength of the company called Innobot. And I'm really grateful that Innobot gave me this opportunity to review this great robot called Evo X. So I hope this review helped you understand um, what Evo X is about. I mean, overall, the quality of the materials and also the weight is really good. You will not be disappointed for the money you spend for. But if you have any queries, if you want to find out more about Evo X, please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is LJB Tech all the best bye bye